Hi! In this video I will show you how to thread your sewing machine and I will show you both how to thread your upper part of sewing machine and how to thread your bottom part of it. Let's get started! At first you want to find your spool of thread. So if you have a small spool like this one, it should fit into the spool pin without any problem. And then you can lock in and start threading. But if you have a big one like this one, I would recommend you getting a glass, putting it in. This one is a heavy glass, so it's nice because it won't be moving and the thread can still spin. Put it behind your sewing machine and start threading this way. I do think I will use a black one because it probably will be more visible in this video than a white one. But before we start threading, we want to look at our sewing machine and find uh, if there are any pictures or arrows showing our direction and numbering sequence. So I can see that on my sewing machine, I have number one here on top of my sewing machine, number one showing downward, number three around, number four coming up and around, number five going down and up to the sewing needle. So something like that should be on every sewing machine, no matter what type you have. Let's follow it. So I'll grab my thread, I'll use a hook here as the picture is showing me, I'll lead it through behind of this part. Now we go down, following part number three, instruction number four. Now there is a lever that sometimes could be hidden. In order to get this lever up you have to play a bit around with this hand wheel. So as you are spinning it, it does pop up and down. So for threading process, you want it up. Then you take it down. And then there is a tiny hook uh, before we get to the needle. We use that to bring thread closer. Before you pull the thread through the eye of the sewing needle, you want to cut it to make it sharp. Uh, maybe even turn on the light on your sewing machine because that will make it easier. You can again play around with your hand wheel to bring the needle higher. And then you just drag it through the eye of the sewing needle and underneath the foot presser or presser foot. That's how you thread the upper part of the sewing machine. Now what about the bottom part? For bottom part, uh, we have to remove this side piece, or like this bottom piece. Uh, this is on my sewing machine usually a storage for different threads and things, but we don't need this right now. So let's remove that and let's open underneath. In order to pull the case for bobbin out, you want to pull out on this lever here. And that way it will just slide nicely out. This is how the bobbin case looks like. And once we have our bobbin ready, we place it in. We make sure we have our thread. We find the piece where it can slide to. We slide it through and then we twist it. So we get it all the way up here, counterclockwise and possibly even pull a little more so we can drag it out. Now you want to hold on to this because it can still fall out. Once we have thread this, we'll just place it in to the place it should click. And we still have our thread here. And then we turn on the light, keep pulling on the upper one and start moving your hand wheel. Now, it didn't work right away, but it will catch it eventually. And then you just pull it. Close this, assemble my sewing machine back in, and it's done.